Hello, my name is Christopher and today I'm going to be showing you how to install Chasm on Cosmos Cloud. This makes it to where you can uh, stream desktop virtualization uh, through Ch uh, Chasm and then you can access it through Cosmos Cloud pro proxies. Uh, it has rate limiting, uh, DDoS protection, uh, proxy built in, everything like that. So uh, a little bit about this series is I'm, I'm doing a ho home lab series on starting a home lab from scratch and doing things like installing software, everything like that, it's on servers. So um, so if you like that, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel, and let's get started. I'm starting with a fresh install of Cosmos Cloud and um i have no apps right here so you're gonna go over to serve apps and import compose file right here and then i'm gonna go over to my guest that i created and it will be down in the description so you can get to it um i'm going to start with version 2.1 and then i'm gonna create services chasm i'm gonna use the linux server uh chasm container i'm gonna name the container chasm I'm gonna make it pr privileged. And then I'm gonna set environment variables for the Chasm port. And then the Docker Hub username, Docker Hub password, and Docker Hub MTU. And um, now I'm going to uh, set some volumes up. One's in Chasm data, and then Chasm profiles, and then dev input, and then run you dev data, and then, and then that's uh, and then the opt is in the containers, profiles of containers, dev inputs in container, and then run, and it syncs it back and forth. And um, I'm gonna create some ports right here. So I'm gonna port forward 3000, I'm gonna port forward 10.443 to 443, and then I'm gonna say restart unless stopped. So now I'm gonna get the Docker container set up and um <clears throat> uh so i'm gonna use my guest right here that i created and um i'm gonna go over to my cosmos i'm gonna start on the home page i did go back to the home page just so i show you step by step um so i'm gonna go to serve apps then import compose file and then paste it in and then i'm gonna press the next button right here it'll show you a json object of what it's gonna create and I'm gonna press create right here. It's gonna go through and download the containers from Docker Hub. So um, we're gonna wait just a few. It should be done in, there you go. Okay, service created. Everything was created successfully. It binded all the uh, volumes and um, it created the volumes and created the binds. So um, I'm gonna create, uh, I'm gonna close right here. And I'm gonna go to the details and you can see the images, the ID, the IP address, if it's healthy or not. So now I'm going to change the ports around a little bit. Um, so I'm gonna go to network. Then I'm gonna change the host port to empty and then I'm gonna update the ports. And then there we go. So I'm, expo I'm exposing 3,043, uh, 443, I mean. And um, it did create the storages, so all the binds. Thought it created volume, but I guess not. So it's all binds. Um, so you can see your environment variables right here. And we're not gonna change anything in here. Um, it does have a terminal. You can see the logs. It did successfully start. So now I'm going to create URLs um, because the way Cosmos Cloud works is you have to create a proxy URL and then proxy it into the Docker container and then that makes it more secure. So I'm going to go down to URLs right here. I'm going to press new and then I'm going to expose 3000. This is the install port. I'm going to put HTTPS on it. I'm going to accept insecure HTTPS target since it's a self-signed certificate and we're using it on an IP address. Um, so that's all done. I'm going to press the confirm button right here. Then it's going to refresh. 
Every time you create a URL in Cosmos Cloud, it does have to refresh. So it should be back up here in a second. I guess I have to uh, press the reload for some reason right there. Went on too long. Okay, um, now I'm gonna uh, create a new URL right here. And I'm gonna expose it on the web side. So this is the web URL for Ch uh, Chasm. It's got the admin panel and the Chasm workspaces on it. So I'm gonna expose 443, put HTTPS on it, except insecure HTTPS since it is an IP address and it's got a self-signed certificate on it. So now the port will be 7201. Uh, so now I'm gonna press confirm, refresh, and this time it should refresh, but maybe it might not. There we go. Okay, it did refresh that time. Okay, so we set up the URLs. We got the host port all set up as well. So now we will get to installing uh, the uh, the actual Docker containers on Chasm and get Chasm all set up. So now we will go to the port uh, 3000, the proxy that's on the port 3000, and that's the 7200 down here, the first one we created. And um, it might be a different port for you if you have more applications on Cosmos Cloud. So um, so now I'm going to go to this URL. It's gonna pop up and say Chasm Workplaces and um, this is the license agreement. I'm gonna install. So now I'm going to um, put a password in. Then I'm gonna say next. Okay, now this is where you um, you pick what you want to install first. So you can install Chrome and press the install button down here. This will take a bit, so I'm going to pause it right here, let it install, and then I'll show you what the end result is. So now once it's done installing, you'll get a page like this, and um, it'll say things are healthy right here. So I'm going to go over to my Cosmos Cloud. Let's see, okay, I'm gonna to go to my Cosmos, and then I'm going to um, since it since it is installed and we have one uh, image on it, which is Chrome, we can go to the web URL now, and here you go, it's the web URL and uh, it's wanting you to log in. So you're gonna go back to the install. So this is the username. That's the admin panel. So I'm going to go here. I'm gonna type in my password that I typed in when I was installing Chasm. And here you go, we're inside the, uh, the, the UI. So you can see one image use and that's Chrome. So when we're on the admin panel, um, you can go to wor wor workspaces. Now, there'll be a issue with this. Like when I try to start a session, it will actually fail right here. So we have one more step that we have to do, but I wanna show you step by step and why I do things. So, um, so this will fail and go back to the admin panel. Just wait little, right here a little bit and uh, until it goes back. Okay, now it failed. You went back to the item panel and now we're going to show you how to fix that. So we're gonna go to zones right here. We're gonna go to edit. And then we're going to change the proxy port right here to uh, 7201, because that's our web port. And I'm going to submit. Okay, now we're gonna go back to dashboard we're gonna go to workspaces. I'm going to, um, I'm gonna just resume this one. It should work. Okay, now it's working, it's up, and um, we can go to Google. We can go to Super Tech World. So this is all running on Cosmos Cloud, and um, you can you can easily uh, have clipboard access, sound enabled, microphone enabled, download, upload, streaming quality, share instance, advanced settings, full screen, workspaces, log out, and delete session. So if you want to delete this, uh, 
this uh, uh, instance. And then now it's destroying the session. There's no uh, Chrome open now. So now I'm gonna show you how to install more workspaces. So I'm gonna go over to workspaces right here, go to workspace registry, and then we're gonna install the official registry right here. And once that's installed, you'll see um, different workspaces that you can use. So um, we're gonna go back to workspaces and we're gonna add workspace right here. And then we're gonna press container and then we're gonna pick, um, I'm gonna pick, uh, pick edge. It'll fill in all the information and um, I'm gonna press submit down here. This will take a bit to download and install, but once that happens, um, you won't have this uh, in it. So this image will be installed and um, I'm gonna wait just a few and then come back and show you that it, it did install. So now once you wait a good bit, um, a few minutes or so, you'll refresh the page and that little icon should be gone. Once it's gone, you can press launch session and it'll create a secure session. And um, here you go, it's all up and running. And um, I'm going to go to Google And then you can open another tab. You can go to Big Bear Tech World. And then you can see it. it is loading and working. So now that we have Chasm up and running and it's good, um, we're gonna go back to the, uh, the 3000 URL, the port 3000. And I'm going to go to this one and you'll, you'll see this, but I'm gonna stop install wizard and now you'll see to re-enable opt no wizard I take that file out and restart the container so this will just disable the wizard and we don't need it anymore because it's all up and running so i just went step by step on how to get chasm workspaces running on cosmos cloud this makes to where you can just spin up a workspace uh, chrome edge different operating systems you can install a different operating system with the official repository that i just showed you how to uh, install the registry so if you like this tutorial, subscribe, comment, like, support the channel. And also, uh, uh, if you need support, you can go to the Big Bear community, our Discord, and uh, also introduce yourself. Let us know who you are and your name. So, um, so stay tuned for more.